have designed the flooring um, to provide cues. So we've got, uh, for the people with low vision, we've got black um, striped areas where, which indicate points of turn um, to give cues. We've also created what we call our yellow brick road, which is um, a sort of an orangey coloured um, vinyl. Mm -hmm. And that is in sharp contrast to the carpet, which is to the side of the pathway through. So there's a visual um, cue that, that they're on the right track. There's also a tactile cue if they're totally blind, because you can see the difference between, or feel the difference between the vinyl and the carpet. Um, in addition, we've also created uh, lighting here, which gives another cue. The lighting is, um, I call it fluorescent, and it's in strips, and so we've got line of lighting immediately they come in the door it's over their heads and then it turns sharp left head indicating the main passageway down to the classrooms. A room for functional vision assessment, a, a large room for adaptive um, or assistive technology assessment and there's a, a very nice observation room in between so family members or professionals can actually observe the assessment without distracting the, the students. This is what um, we call our adaptive daily living centre or ADL, it's where the students are taught skills of um, daily living, um, typically the most obvious one is, is cooking um, and all the things around cooking, washing dishes, drying dishes and um, really leading towards independent living.